In this video, we will explain how handguns and pistols work. Let's take a look at the most important parts. The slide is located in the upper part of the weapon. The hammer spur is often called simply hammer. The slide houses the firing pin on which the hammer spur hits when the trigger is pressed. A crucial part of the gun is the barrel. Pulling the trigger will fire the gun through the movement of the sear. For this, the hammer strut plays an important role. Let us now take a close look at the individual faces. If the pistol is uncocked and unloaded, the slide must first be moved back by hand to cock the pistol. When the slide is moved backwards by hand, the hammer is cocked. The sear engages the hammer. Let's wind back and look again at the sear and how it engages the hammer. When the slide is pushed backwards, it pushes the barrel backwards too. This will allow the cartridge to slide easily into the barrel. The recoil spring is under tension. The hammer is under tension through the hammer strut. As soon as the slide is released, the tension recoil spring pushes the slide forward. The slide takes the cartridge with it and pushes it into the gun barrel. The hammer remains cocked thanks to the sear. The gun barrel returns to its initial position. The gun is now loaded and cocked. The grip safety prevents the gun from firing. Only when the gun's grip is grasped by the hand, the trigger can move the disconnector, and thus, the sear. Let's see it again from the side view, with the firing pin. When the firing pin hits the primer, it ignites the propellant. The projectile starts to spin because of the lands and grooves cut into the barrel to provide a stable trajectory. Once again from a different camera perspective. After the propellant has been ignited, the projectile moves forward and the slide is pushed back by the pressure. Consequently, the case is ejected and a new cartridge is fed into the barrel. The hammer is automatically cocked. As soon as the trigger is released, the gun can be fired again. Let us take another close look at this. The hammer hits the firing pin and ignites the propellant. This causes the slide to move backwards and pushes the disconnector downwards so that it releases the sear. Thus, the sear can engage the hammer. When the trigger is released, the disconnector slides between the trigger and the sear. Now, the gun can be fired again.